Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to an episode of career mode We are now at episode 2 and we're still in the transfer window and it's about to get good So guys, I do just want to say a few things You know, I really appreciate all the support on the first video The reason why I couldn't get one up so quickly was because I actually went to an event called Eurogamer And uh, it was um, out in London It was actually to go and meet a lot of uh, the fans that watch my videos I knew a lot of you guys would be there A bunch of people tweeted me I wanted to go and meet um, all of you guys out there So I want to say a huge Thank you to everyone who came along to your game. It was fantastic to meet you. I literally met so many people. It was hard to walk five minutes without being stopped and, you know, said hello to, shake hands, whatever. It was really, really nice um, just to, you know, meet the people that watch your videos, see the other side of things. So... Um, that was really nice, and uh, that was the reason I wasn't uploading, not because I hate you guys or, you know, I was lazy or whatever, I was literally in Eurogamer um, so much just to, uh, I literally went just to go and meet the people because um, Eurogamer is a lot of fun, but sometimes the queues can just be a little bit ridiculous, so uh, yeah, that's the reason for that, but anyways, let's talk about career mode, let's talk about Southampton, if you guys didn't know, uh, we are doing Southampton this year, and I wanted quite a bit for Mr. Morgan over here, we wanted quite a bit of money for him, um, I believe that was Granada CF that was actually interested in him and uh, you know I counted off for quite a bit because I want some more money We don't have a lot of money to work with in the first place I already uh, put in a bid for Kurt Zuma if any of you guys saw that in the last one and uh, he is just a quality center back I saw a few shouts for certain players um, in the comments, which was great to see I also sent scouts out to these guys to get a look see how well they would um, play um, I've heard the uh, Galatasaray center back Kaya there. Um, he looks quality So I sent a scout to go check him out uh, Le Leandro De Demar I think is how you pronounce it. Um, I was interested to see, as you can see, look at those stats. They just look fantastic. He's got a value of 7 million and a wage of 45k. One thing I have to say, though, guys, that I found very interesting was that um, if you guys click inquire and you want to inquire into some of these players the prices you get back are often double their value Especially for the young players a prime example of this would be um, Ahmed Musa here the striker We don't know his overall just yet I did send a scout out to go and look at him But I'm not too sure if the scouting was actually completed But like I said, I really wanted to pick up um, the likes of Ahmed Musa I put in a six million big up uh, bid sorry plus sharp and hopefully that would be enough to seal the deal But we just have to wait and see as you can see look at those stats they were just immense they were fantastic to see and uh, yeah so um, my scouts at the moment I believe I have they're around you know they're very um, average scouts you know they're not terrible but they're not great and uh, it was kind of in the middle as you can see Kai there has a 21 million value on him which is just redonkulous seriously that is crazy stuff and there's just no way I'm even going to be able to come close to paying up uh, 21 million for a center back instead I kept my eyes on a more realistic target get like Kurt Zuma. Um, 10.9 million was the uh, amount they wanted, uh, would you call it for? Um, they wanted uh, for Musa and I just don't have that sort of money at the moment unless I manage to sell someone. I'm not going to be able to afford Musa at this moment in time so we're just going to have to hold on and wait. Remember guys, I did get um, uh, Kurt Zuma's uh, sort of bid accepted and it was into contract talks but to be honest with you, I didn't want to spend that much money on just a centre back. You know, it was going to be a lot of money. I think it was, yeah, again, 6 million um, and you gotta remember I only had like 8.5 million or something like that to spend in the first place So I was a little bit hesitant, but I kept that offer always open and uh, available in case I do end up wanting to try and pick them up so um, I kept him there because I want to try him out in the future and see, uh, you know, see if it does end up working out. But guys, I ended up wanting to send out some scouts. Um, I selected the pacey one, the promising ones, because we obviously always want players that are going to be, um, you know, you know, something for the future. I'm uh, kind of that Brendan Rodgers um, esque manager. You know, I'm always looking for the for what uh, for future players, for young players essentially. I also wanted players that had, um, you know, not lot, not long left in their contract, just because you. You can always tend to get them a little bit cheaper when they don't have long on their contract left but what I didn't realize guys was and this was kind of a mistake by myself and as you can see suddenly Ahmed Musa's um, value went up to 16 million and I swear it was only 4.5 not long ago I'm not entirely sure what was going on there but that's just the way it ended up going um, anyways like I was saying one of the things that I didn't realize it was I guess it's common sense but it requires you to think quite a lot is that you know if there's a young if, if a player is young he's promising 
promising, chances are he's going to be signed onto a new contract. You know, if they're 18, 19, chances are they're still going to have, you know, five years left on their contract, four years left. You know, they're not going to be in the final two years of their contract. Let's be honest, you know. So that's something I didn't really keep in mind when I uh, set those particular instructions. So my scouts went out and it was almost impossible for them to find players because like I said, to find players that are, you know, 18, 19 with a lot of promise in them, they're not going to be on their last two years of a contract, are they? So, you know, the results I'm going to be getting back, I guess I'm kind of um, spoiling um, what the scouts did, but you know they just they they couldn't come back with any sort of good intel at all, and for that reason, you know that was my own mistake. But it was something that you know kind of made me realize, you know, this game is quite a bit more in depth this in depth this year. You really have to think about certain things, and I just really enjoyed it. You know, I was really happy to see that you know FIFA actually requires you to think that little bit more. But anyways, I had a friendly against PSG. Of course, it was preseason, and I was expecting the big black sausage. You know, I was expecting just to get smacked around the place but Jose Fonte there my center back of course we haven't managed to sign Kurt Zuma just yet because of the amount they're asking for him so uh, we're just gonna have to wait and see until then Jose Fonte is in the starting lineup but it actually ends 1-1 and I was very happy with that it was a home game but like I said I was happy with that they had you know PSG have just a monster side but that's gonna do it for this episode guys and I do have another episode ready to upload for you guys if this video hits 3,000 likes you know I've got no Euro gamer to go to I'm literally here to make videos for you guys so I really hope hope you enjoy that and I hope you enjoy this video uh, I can't wait to see how the rest of the season goes and uh, until then guys I catch you in a little bit bye bye